we're in here this morning. It is November 1st, and the first signs of chasing has happened within the past couple of days, so right now I'm in between two bedding zones, and so I'm thinking I'm going to catch one cruising at some point today. The wind's pretty rough this morning, might be over here in the background, but around 10, or it is currently 8 o'clock, so about 10 o'clock, that wind's going to take a drastic drop. And so I'm thinking when that happens, these bucks are going to come from down low, come up top where I'm at, and just hit these bedding zones as traveling. So, if I see anything, I'll get back to you. Stay tuned. Oh, I had to drill that. Oh, I had to drill that. Oh my God! He coming from behind me, but one spot. Oh my God! He coming straight from behind me. I've been watching this whole ridge this morning, and over here in this thick, and he coming from behind me. I was sitting here on my phone, and I caught movement. Oh, can see me? I caught movement to my side and I looked over and I seen a deer and I could tell one side had four points. Oh man. And he kept walking. And I had he got he stopped behind a tree so I could grab my camera and I could start. And I zoomed in just a little bit and he saw me lift up my gun. I was like it's now or never and I couldn't find him through my scope. Oh man. I had to have drilled him. I've had to have drilled him. Oh man. Oh. It's a nice buck. It's a real nice buck. God, yes. Yes. Oh. Well, we got her done this afternoon. I shot her on this side. And she was cornered away a little bit and hit her down lower than I expected. We trapped her about 200 yards when we found her finally. She was still alive when we got there. Put another shot in it and we got her done. Thanks for watching.